Timing is everything in an airbag's ability to deploy quickly enough, in fact in milliseconds, to save a life in a head-on collision. The main component of an airbag system is the crash sensor. It is a steel ball that slides inside a smooth bore where the ball is inhibited from moving when the car drives over bumps or potholes. However, when the car decelerates very quickly as in a head-on crash, the ball suddenly moves forward. This movement turns on an electrical circuit that initiates the inflation of the airbag. Inside the airbag is a gas generator mixture of sodium nitrate, potassium nitrate, and silicon dioxide. When a car undergoes a head-on collision, a series of three chemical reactions inside the gas generator produce nitrogen gas to fill the airbag and convert sodium azide, which is highly toxic, into harmless gas. The electrical impulse triggered by the deceleration sensor's movement creates the high temperature condition needed to decompose sodium azide to produce a sodium metal and nitrogen gas. In this reaction, the nitrogen gas fills the airbag. However, what happens to the sodium metal which is highly reactive and potentially explosive? This is where the potassium nitrate and the silicon dioxide comes in. First, the sodium reacts with the potassium nitrate to produce an additional nitrogen gas. The produced potassium oxide and the sodium oxide will react with the silicon dioxide in a final reaction to produce a harmless and stable silicate glass called the alkaline silicate glass. And remember, all these reactions happen in just 40 milliseconds. It only takes 40 milliseconds from the initial impact of the car crash to fully inflate the airbag. Amazing!